for is really quite an interesting thing. They actually used the software to design pizzas for microwave ovens. Now, the trouble is that uh, pizzas in microwave ovens are not easy to, to make, and this is something we didn't know about. But when you think about it, pizza needs to be crisp at some points and really gooey in some other points. So that's, in fact, a very tough problem because as you heat up the pizza, which was frozen, it changes its dielectric properties quite a bit, and it becomes a really complicated problem. So that would take days for them to do, and now it's, it's much, much faster. But that was really a, a strange customer and, and a, quite a success story for us. So a um, couple of real-time stories here. So I've mentioned already Motorola, and Motorola witnessed 100 times acceleration in their uh, design and shift in the, in, the, in the way they're approaching the design of cell phones. So that was really good. Boston Scientific is a company that does a lot of things, but amongst them, they uh, were analyzing the interaction of MRI devices with uh, pacers and other implantable devices. Well, that's a big problem for MRI machines, and that had to be simulated. Uh, those simulations would actually take a long time to do. So uh, again, that was an early and good success for us because we managed to cut the simulation time from months to, to 10 to 20 hours, and that again changed the way they were doing business right now. And finally, uh, in a different uh, area, uh, seismic processing, so folks that are trying to create an image of what is happening underground and try to find oil, um, a key seismic, a Calgary-based company, uh, has uh, worked with us, and we have a product for this group of customers for Kirchhoff time migration, for those of you who know what it is. And those guys, again, have seen 10 times acceleration of the process. Now, if we look in, in this, this whole computational market in general, there appears to be two ways of, of dealing with this. Uh, there is a silver bullet approach. So try to come up with an application that will address the very, very broad market at the same time. Well, the trouble with silver bullet is that it's a myth. It doesn't exist. Um, so we believe in our experience would dictate that the way to approach this is actually to try vertical approach. Uh, we, when we approach the market and we started with electromagnetics, we had uh, a strong expertise, a strong knowledge base in this market from all the very, very top, so actually understanding electromagnetics to the bottom, how to make those codes parallel. The problem is that in many applications, it's not enough to port the code. You actually have to rework the algorithms to allow for parallelism to be exploited and expressed. From electromagnetics, uh, for us, a very, very similar market. So we treat this as a joint market was oil and gas, where some of the techniques we've developed for electromagnetics, like final difference techniques, were very, very useful and allowed us to approach and attack this market very, very fast. And then the third one, sparse, huge sparse linear problems that are really common to a lot of different markets, uh, but again, are common to some of those markets that we were in already, so again, that was a natural step for us to go there. So uh, vertical market strategy is <coughs> nicely expressed here. Uh, in electromagnetics, as I've mentioned, uh, we have the whole expertise and, and, and quite a know-how from antennas to developing, development of electromagnetic codes to optics and everything in between. In uh, oil and gas, we've noticed that some of the techniques we've developed for electromagnetics, these are, in the end, wave equations in both cases, so we knew what to do. We, we have in our company a number of experts, uh, PhD people in this area, from <coughs> physicists to geophysicists and uh, reservoir engineers, and again, that allowed us to attack this problem quite, uh, quite well. And that, a common factor there, and hence a natural way to exploit this, is linear algebra where we solve really, really large problems, and I had a talk about this earlier, this, earlier today. So how do we approach this? We, we see ourselves as middle, middleware platform, so we really interface between our customers, people like Agile and CST, uh, people who work in re reverse time migration, oil and gas, or in mechanical simulations, and on the bottom we have NVIDIA, who is producing this amazing hardware, and we are trying to, to marry those two things. So in each of uh, our markets, we provide an API for programmers to use, and our channel partners are di directly interacting with this uh, API. Typically, it replaces what they already have there. We try, to, uh, we try to understand the way they operate, and that's a that's fairly simple thing for them to adopt. In the middle of this is a common accelerator layer that we are developing inside the company. 
Uh, and then, of course, that splits into multi-core, multi-GPU, or multi-node clustering because we actually use uh, things that are not just uh, connected to one computer. Um, I've mentioned that we, uh, that we follow vertical uh, strategy here. So within 35 people that we have in the company, uh, we have nine PhDs, and these are guys who are uh, either PhD in mathematics, in physics, in geophysics, and electromagnetics. And we have a large number of masters, and, and the rest of the guys in research and development are, are bachelors. But the point is that out of our company, over 25 people are actually working in R&D. So we are heavy on R&D uh, uh, company, and we have a lot of expertise there. Um, we explore a number of different strategies in terms of uh, generating revenue. So from uh, channel partners uh, like Agilent, Synopsys, CST, through direct sales uh, that were quite, uh, were quite successful with Kodak and Merck and those guys. Finally, to services, that is a new thing for the company. We have introduced this last year. That allows us to uh, find new markets, new opportunities, and we were happy to get uh, very large customers to work with us. Here's an interesting example of what we have done for uh, one of our large uh, uh, customers in uh, cell phone markets. They uh, wanted to see they were looking at very, very large problems that they needed to solve. So they were thinking about buying IBM Blue Jean. But they had our technology already, so uh, they decided to uh, run our technology side by side and see how that works. So what is interesting here to see, we have a graph that has number of nodes, computational nodes, uh, Accelerator nodes on the bottom, and then throughput, so how fast this computation actually goes in what we call megacells per second, but really it's just the speed of how those things are going. Uh, so what you see here is that for uh, a cluster of six nodes, and each of those nodes had four GPU, that was Tesla 870, so that was done a year ago. So the speed of, 